Hey, Franco Cavallari coming to you from the gym again. I'm gonna talk about the post-workout meal. And I had a bunch of questions come in. Why? My first workout that day was at 7 a.m. And it was a cardio workout on the stepper. And basically I'll do anywhere between 35 and 45 minutes on that stepping machine and interval train. So, you know, one minute of all out, three or four minutes, five minutes. I don't really kill myself, but five minutes of maybe regular pace. One minute all out, five minutes, regular pace. After that workout, my post meal is going to be sometime around one hour later. Now, why do I wait an hour? Here's why. I do that workout fasted, okay? When you are sleeping, you typically go into ketogenesis. As the body's deprived of nutrition during the sleep, your body begins to utilize fat as a primary energy source and create ketones for the brain. You go into ketosis, a lot of us do. When you wake up, you're still in ketosis and ketogenesis. The body's using fat, using your fat to make calories that you need for the brain, ketones. So I get on the stepper and I'll use a product called Thermoburn, which actually facilitates ketogenesis even further. Why would I do that? Because now I'm further boosting the ketogenic process and the fatty acid oxidation, the burning of fat in the morning. I'll do my 35 to 45 minutes of cardio intensely, jump off now. The second you consume food, you inhibit and stop that process. So I want to maintain the momentum of that calorie burning after the workout. So I will stay a one hour without food prior to going into um, food that will spike insulin. Now, we all know that there's a post-workout period of time where you're going to restore and maximize protein synthesis and glycogen restoration. Why? Because after you work out, the body has activated what are called glycogen synthesized enzymes. It's gonna pick up glucose from your meal to restore glycogen actively independent of insulin. So it's a good time, good time, if you're gonna give yourself a treat to have some carbohydrate loaded treat. But typically what the bodybuilders and power athletes would do otherwise, and even endurance athletes, people who've spent a lot of energy during a workout, is have protein and carbs together post-workout within an hour. So on my second workout, what I did was I trained shoulders and abs, and it was about an hour long. And um, then I went in and I had a meal within 30 minutes. The meal was potatoes, uh, steak, and some peas and vegetables. Why the combination of the carbs and the protein? Because at that post-workout meal, after training my body and what you're doing is you're depleting the glycogen. And the body says, I want to restore the glycogen. I'm gonna take those carbs, restore glycogen, and not put fat on with those. And so that's when you can have your protein and carbs right after the workout, within an hour, where that hour window, hour to about 90 minutes maximum, depends on your metabolism, you're absorbing the most protein and carbs and restoring very quickly the glycogen and muscle mass. And that's when you want that meal to be immediate and less likely to put on fat after that glycogen depletion, okay? So that's the reason.